Golden Vial of Felix Felicis. Congratulations. Use it well. Hello guys and welcome back to another video, today I will show you 3 light tricks that I think is highly important to know and use in your work, so let's jump into it. Let us say that sometimes when we add emission materials to any light objects, like this small study lamp, it can produce noise or fireflies, now to get rid of those there are many ways, one of them for example is increasing the render samples count, however in this first tip, we can use it when we have those kind of lights that you need them to look lit and nice, but no need for them to illuminate the area, so just for the view of it like this lamp we having on the table, in this case, we can use the light path node, which is one of the most important nodes especially inducing noise, we use it also when we set up any glass material where we link the shadow ray input to the factor we have, however in the emission case, we will use the singular ray and link it to the strength. And here you have it, we immediately get rid of the noise without the need of increasing the render time by cracking up the samples, though we lost the ability to increase the emission power. So yeah great method under the condition of not using the light as an illuminating source. We can cast shadows with our light only and without the use of planes in front of the light source, the process is quite similar but easier, so in any light you have, like this spot I added in the scene, once we enable the use node option, we can work on it with nodes to add any kind of texture and apply it as a shadow of trees or anything we desire, so let us select the emission node and hit Ctrl T to add an image texture link to it, the light is purple meaning we don't have a texture yet, so let us open any PNG image we have, you can look for those things online and there are many free ones. The light is off now, to get it back, we need to switch the coordinate from UV to normal, let us isolate the light alone to see it clearly, and it look like it needs a bit of strength for us to see the pattern. By changing the radius and the spot size values, we can control the shadow and light on the receiving object, we can also go back to the nodes and experiment with the mapping node, the we can control all the texture transformation from location to rotation and scale, all that is possible. With this also you can easily keyframe the rotation for example and get a nice shadow animation. We can also flip the light and shadow by using an invert node after the texture to get a new pattern, this new one is suited more for exterior scenes, so go play with it, it is really dope. Have you ever wonder what happened if we make the light power on negative, by logic it should stay at zero, however with blender we can actually make it on a negative value, so in the area under the table, if we want to make it any more darker, we could add an area like there and make the value minus something, and that will give us the result we need, however you should keep the values under check so you won't end up with weird darkness all over the place, so use it wisely, and that's it. Hope the video been fun to watch, thanks a lot guys for making us reach 30k subscribes, really appreciate all the support, and as always, stay sharp, goodbye.